you're doing any kind of email marketing, there's a strong chance that you're writing newsletters. And I'd be willing to bet that those newsletters are sharing content from your blog, uh, your company's blog, or things you find on the web, um, and possibly not things that you're just writing from scratch. If that's the case and you're sharing content that's already out there, this, uh, this tutorial is for you. So today we're gonna write a newsletter that shares the following blog posts. I've got three blog posts uh, queued up on my clipboard from the Copy AI blog that we have shared in a previous newsletter. One about AI transformation, the other about becoming AI native, and another about GPT-4 and the differences between GPT-3 and GPT-4. Uh, this is all you need to do to write a newsletter to promote existing content. It's wild. Uh, dear subscribers, you see it jumps right into it. We're excited to share with you some of our latest blog posts on copy.ai. Uh, it covers all three of them right here. It's got a, a nice, friendly, engaging tone. It, it really nails it. But let's say that this just isn't, isn't your vibe. It kind of misses your, your tone of voice, all right? Uh, I'm gonna copy the prompt here because we're gonna, we're gonna run it back and I'm gonna show you something that you can do that gives you a little bit more control. So rather than just clicking generate, go ahead and click improve. And this is going to expand the prompt to give you a little bit more control over uh, what you want. So this expanded prompt is gonna ask you for more detail. Compose a newsletter that shares the latest updates from Copy AI's blog, highlighting the following three posts. And it's gonna show each post, it's gonna share instructions about each of those posts and, and what it is going to be doing for each of them. So introduce a post with an attention grabbing header, um, begin with a catchy header, start with a captivating header, basically all the same thing. Wrap up the newsletter by encouraging readers to share their thoughts on the blog post and subscribe to Copy AI's blog for more updates in the future. Uh, you know, if they're getting this email, then they're probably already subscribed, but I also subscribe to the concept of asking your readers for engagement. So I love that. I'm gonna add one note, make sure the tone is positive, friendly, and easy to read. Uh, that's my vibe, keep it casual, keep it friendly, keep it informal uh, and informative. So here we go, we're thrilled to share with you some of our latest blogs on copy.ai. Uh, you'll see this is more, uh, more paragraph format, whereas our, our previous one, actually paragraph format as well. Sometimes you'll get different formats. Um, we hope you find these blogs informative and thought provoking. Please feel free to share them with your colleagues and friends. We'd love to hear your thoughts. So don't hesitate to drop us the line or leave a comment on the blog. Uh, I know I'm doing a demo right now, but I truly do mean it. We love to hear your thoughts. So any emails you get from us. So that right there is how to write a newsletter from blog posts. See you next time.